Um, I'm going to read um, a poem about Sissinghurst Garden in Kent, which you probably, most people probably know, it was the home and uh, the garden was designed by Vito Sackville West and Harold Nicholson. Um, and we were there, myself and Mary and my wife, we were there on a residence on June the 1st, 2022. And Vita died on June the 2nd, 1962. Um, anyway, there, this, uh, so we were, especially my wife who loves all things, Sissinghurst and all things, Bloomsbury, uh, were thinking about the to Sackville West. At Sissinghurst on June the 1st, 2022, I see Vita everywhere, a distant figure bends to a shrub, dipped face hidden as she or he clips, a haughty ghost under the gardener's cat. At a dark window of the tower, visitors look out across the weald. One lingers, a silhouette that might be hers. She takes many forms. A bronze and amethyst iris lulls a lascivious tongue laced with pollen. Handsome at the lakeside, a tall heron stands ready to pierce its own reflection for its luncheon. Two women picnic deep in the woods. We are lost, they say, and may never find our way out. Lupin, rose and poppy flaunt their flamboyant whiteness. Heady scents create a presence in the air. Elsewhere, a bold dazzle of colour, bloom and leaf shine with the brilliance of a many faceted mind. It is the day before the death. Just as she would sit, you sit on the bench by the box hedge, telling me of her, breathing fresh joy into her adventure here. Thanks to you, I see Vita everywhere the ever living life of this place. And my second poem is um, about um, Jocelyn Bell Burnell, who again, you, you probably know of. Um, uh, she's famous for not getting a Nobel Prize. Um, as a PhD student, she um, made the initial discovery of pulses, but the Nobel Prize went to her professor and um, I heard her talking on Radio 4 and um, she, she gave a fantastic uh, lecture and she, she said <laughs> she's not bitter about not getting the Nobel Prize. Jocelyn Bell Burnell speaks. Jocelyn Bell Burnell speaks of the universe as if it is her yard where supernovae burn a hole in time as normally as sun rays parch lawns, winds scour or cats howl nights to shreds. She spotted a thing, remote and strange. It pulsed, a sweeping shaft of energy, the screech of a star, wrecked and cold. Not the quasar that they sought, instead an unpredicted fact. It broke definitions. This was new and hers until they took it. She sees in more ways than our eyes were invented for, skeins of radiation in rare planes of vision, births and deaths that dwarf our own. What's a Nobel when you've seen that far, that deep? 